live from the Aggie Softball Complex, Las Cruces, New Mexico. It's the season opener as the UTEP Miners take on the ninth ranked Nebraska Cornhuskers. It's turned into a gorgeous day for softball. The temperature is at 41 degrees. Not a whole lot of breeze in the area, just a little bit moving the American flag beyond the left center field fence. We get ready for the start of this 2014 season for the Cornhuskers. Wine and the one-two pitch from Lockman. Lay us out. Swings and misses and she's down on strikes. And like Lockman with a pair of strikeouts in the inning. Holman looks in for the sign and deals the 2-1. Decker swings and it's a fly ball to right. Eldridge going back. It's over her head and off the wall. Tatum Edwards around third. She's going to come in to score. The throw goes into second. Taylor Edwards scoots into third. So it's an RBI double off the wall to right field with two outs, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Fowler swings and lights it through the left side. A base hit on to score is Decker, and the Huskers with a 3-0 lead here in the bottom of the first inning. Pitch swinging a ground ball to second. Four to her left, Decker, nice pick. She grabs and throws to first and gets her. Nice play, Haley Decker on Kayla Black, and the inning is over. The 0-2 on the way from Lockman is a curveball taken over the outside corner of cold strike three, the fourth strikeout of the game for Emily, and there are two gone. Line and a 3-1 from Pullman. Knight swings and serves that one into right field, and it's over the head of Eldridge and all the way to the wall. Knight around first on her way to second. She has a two-out double. Pullman lines and deals. Edwards swings and lines that one into left center field. It's off of the middle of the wall. Edwards around first. She'll have to hang on there. That was only about five feet from a home run, but Taylor hit it well. And the 3-1 on the way from Holman. Change up, swung on, and brought it back up the middle. A base hit for Haley Decker. On to second goes Taylor Edwards. Holman delivers. Stokes swings, and it's a high fly ball deep to right center field. It's gone! Home run, Kiki Stokes! And the Huskers lead it by a score of 6 to nothing. You know, it almost didn't feel like we had to get back in the groove. It felt like we just sort of started where we left off. Uh, great energy, a great spirit in the dugout. Uh, our, our preseason has been very focused and players have been working really hard. So it honestly just feels like we're continuing on. I really think 99% of it's been exactly the same. The 1% the that's different is that because this group has experienced, most of them except for the freshmen, has experienced playing in Oklahoma City. Uh, there's just a, a calmness about that they believe that they can play at the highest level rather than rather than thinking you can, that you actually have. There's just a little difference there. I just knew that I had to get my team off to a good start and just make them make the plays and I just have to pitch the ball. It just really takes a, takes a lift off my back knowing that I have a little room if anything does happen. So it's really nice to have those four runs. I think these first games are really important for the whole season to set a tone for the season and to let everybody know that we're here to win. 3-2 pitch, Finley swings and grounds it toward short to her left is Arthur. She shovels to Decker at second for one, the turn to first, in time! Double play and the Huskers wrap up a season opening victory in Ronda Ravel's 800th win as a Husker coach with a 7-0 victory over UTEP. 6-4-3, to four to three. we mentioned the lack of double plays earlier, and Arthur is able to trigger a game-ending double play if the Huskers a win in the season opener. It's the 15th-ranked Florida State Seminoles against the 1-0 ninth-ranked Nebraska Cornhuskers. Morning, it's turned into a gorgeous day for softball. The temperature is at 55 degrees. Unlike Nebraska's first game today, there is a little more wind. It's blowing out to left field at around five miles an hour. We get ready for this matchup between two nationally ranked foes, and Matt, this is a very early opportunity for both of these teams to see how they stack up with a nation's lead. Deals the one-two. Edwards swings it, hits a little flare into short left field. It's down for a hit. Taylor just got that one off of the end of the bat and hit a little dunker. Cena swings, grounds to first. It's juggled by Fowler in front of the bag. Fowler picks it up and is able to tag Cena out for the first out here in the bottom of the first inning. 3-2 pitch, Hensley swings and misses on a pitch in the dirt for strike three, and that's a big second out of the inning. 2-2 pitch, I'm gonna ground ball towards short, Armstrong gets the letter high hop, grabs and throws first to throw in time to get east for the third out of the inning. And the one strike pitch on the way, Armstrong swings and it's a little cue shot towards second, Brown juggles, runs into the runner, Knighton, there's a collision, they'll call Knighton out, and the 1-2 pitch. Cooper takes over the outer half, called strike three. 
Second strikeout of the game for Edwards. And Florida State is dispatched one, two, and three. Line the one, one. Hernandez swings and smokes a ground ball down the third baseline. It's fair. It's past the left fielder, rolling all the way to the wall. Hernandez around first on her way to second. And she'll be in there standing up with a leadoff double. Heels the one ball pitch. Dokes punches a high chopping ground ball to the third baseman. Hamilton just had to watch as it came back to earth. It's a bouncy single on the infield for Stokes. Line the 3-2 from Waldrop. Edwards swings and hits a chopper through the left side of base hit. Ernest will score and the Huskers have tied it at one as Taylor Edwards drives in her first run of the year. 2-1 from Waldrop and Decker swings and lines it back up the middle of base hit on into center field. Edwards to third and holding. Cenas took that ball in shallow center field. Line the one ball pitch from Waldrop and Fowler swings and it's a little cue shot to the first, first baseman. Takes wild spin, it's juggled by the second baseman. One run has scored. Now Edwards trying to score and she is tagged out at the plate, but the Huskers take the lead. Edwards winds and deals. Brown takes, called strike three. At the knees, over the heart of the plate and for Edwards, that's her third strike out of the game. Versus one ball pitch from Edwards. Runner goes, pitch taken down and in for a ball. The throw to second, the tag there by Decker and they catch Cena stealing. Pitch on the way from Waldrop. Armstrong swings and chops it up the third baseline. It is a fair ball and rolling into short left field. It was just like in a general a general and rush. Like every single play that was made, it was like, okay, is like what's gonna happen next? And it was just like one thing after another. And I think both teams were just fighting and it was it was literally an ugly game and both teams just fought until, you know, obviously the end of the game, but I mean, our fight throughout all those weird plays was awesome. I know the dugout was so loud and everyone is in each other's hip pockets, so I think that that's what made this weird game even better. Top of the seventh, the one-two pitch. Tyson swings and it's a little flare into short left field, in into her left is Hensley, she dropped it! Around third is Wolman, she'll score! The Huskers have the lead! The ball popped out of the left fielder, Hensley's glove. Tatum's 0-2. Brown swings and grounds to third, right at night. Who has it? Throws to first in time. And the Huskers beat Florida State by a final score of 4-3. A two-run top of the seventh inning. And the Huskers capture the victory over the nationally ranked Seminoles. It's not one you're putting on an instructional video anytime soon, but it counts in the win column all the same. The Big Red now 2-0 after the first day of the 2014 season. It's the 1-1 one one New Mexico State Aggies against the ninth-ranked 2-0 Nebraska Cornhuskers. It's a gorgeous evening for softball. The temperature is at 63 degrees. A bit of a breeze blowing from right to left and out. And we have partly cloudy skies here at the park. So an excellent evening for softball. And then here's her pitch. Edward swings and lines that one back up the middle of base hit on into center field. Tatum to second and holding the 2-2. Put the ground ball to first right at Fowler who takes it in front of the back. Throws the second for one. Armstrong to first, not in time for the double play, but again, Nebraska gets the lead runner. Edwards pitch, Rother swings and chops it back up the middle, far to her left, the shortstop Armstrong grabs it, throws the first in time. What a play by Alicia, as she showed terrific range to her left. Walker's first pitch, Stokes punches it toward short, Finau waits back on it, and she throws to first way late. An infield single for Kiki Stokes, she couldn't have hit that much better. The one strike pitch from Walker. Runner goes, Edwards swings and lines it down the left field line. It's a fair ball, rolling toward the corner. Stokes around third, gonna try to score. The relay from Finnau, not in time. Stokes scores. Huskers lead it by a score of one to nothing and into second with a double is Taylor Edwards. One strike pitch from Walker. Decker swings and it's a high fly ball. Deep to left field, Padilla going back, it's gone! A two run home run from Haley Decker and the Huskers lead it by a score of three to nothing. Wine, pitch. Swung on and missed by Cobra Rubio for strike three. The first strikeout of the game for Tatum Edwards. Walker's one strike pitch. Edwards swings and lines it one to center field. Back goes Rodriguez, but it's over her glove and rolling to the wall. Edwards around first, on her way to second. Rodriguez throw is late. It's a leadoff double for Taylor Edwards, who absolutely crushed that ball. Kylie Muir, the batter, first one from Walker. And Muir swings and it's a high fly ball. Deep to left center field. It is gone. A three run home run from Kylie Muir. And Nebraska leads it by a score of six to nothing. Walker winds and deals. Fowler swings and it's a little flare over the glove of the leaping shortstop Finau and on into short left field. The one strike pitch from Walker. Knight swings and pops it up into short right field. Coming on to the right fielder, Dorwark. She dove and didn't make the catch. 
So Shalin around second on her way to third and Knighton into second. As Armstrong swings and lines that one into center field, but to her right is Rodriguez to make the catch. Tagging at third is Shalin. She'll come in to score. Diaz throws a change up in the dirt. The runner trying for third and Ernest will take the bag safely. Count even at one. And I believe that'll be a wild pitch. I think my approach was different. We talked a lot about my routine and just staying to myself and just staying through the course. And I think just staying with my routine really helped me out today. I think they started making a little bit more contact. They started getting a little bit more confident with Tatum and her pitches, but our defense shut them down and it was just a really good outing for us on defense. Just being around all my teammates and just um, loving getting to come out here and play the game that we love and new faces is always fun. And so I think being in New Mexico for the first weekend out is always fun for everybody. So many people have asked us, you know, you've, you've been in the World Series and what are you going to do? Are you going to go back? And I think that we've just, as a team, really just committed to playing Nebraska softball and just doing what we do best and taking it one game at a time and pitch by pitch.